Something that blows my mind is like, listen, if I was, if it came out that I was like really good friends with, with Jeffrey Epstein, you know, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't try to make my name mm-hmm. the same way that Alan Dershowitz has. But also like, I have a degree of shame. <coughs> right. Know, what Which a weird, is, what a weird yeah. table. Very Alice in Wonderland like. Oh um, yeah. There we got the Dersh on the left, Epstein um, and Larry Summers on the right. Yeah. And then who's what's that guy? He's like a, guess, a evolutionary biologist. Robert Trivers. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. I mean, Epstein really was hanging out with like the cream of the Ivy League crop, which is something that very few of these uh, yeah. <laughs> these Ivy Leagues have reckoned with. Yeah. However, if Epstein had gone to one of these little encampments, he'd have his fucking skull busted open. We actually have. It's kind of coming full circle. We have. Do um, you want to hear what Dershowitz has to say about these kids? I would love to. All right, let's take a listen. You know, I I. I, I Oh, I'll, t- I'll tell you after. What? Give me a, a keyword. Oh, so I call I call Dershowitz sometimes, like as a party trick. Oh, like you prank call him? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I don't even prank call him. I'm just rude to him. I just call him and I'm rude. Um, Does he, and he picks up? He picks up. I did this to Eddie Money for years until he died. Uh, not because of the calling. And, right. But I, I now I just do it to Dershowitz. It's whenever I don't know how to say to someone at a party, I'm like, well, let's call Alan Dershowitz. Oh, my God. Does he he's know who you are? I mean, he's... I think he's a little touched at this point, but right. no, uh, no, he doesn't really. Have you recorded them? I've recorded, I think one for the show, but I usually just yeah. call him. Just to check in. Yeah. We should have called him on this. Next time we'll start earlier. We'll call him. He's probably sundowning right now, but all right, let's yeah. take a look at the Dersh. Are going to be engaging in massive uh, defensive and offensive lawfare against bigots, anti-Semites, and potential violent terrorists. Uh, we're going to take many, many kinds of legal actions. We're starting a group called Herd a Jew, We Sue You. What? Herd a Jew, We Sue You. Incredible. So good. In which, if you send us the name of a Jewish kid, it could be a Christian Zionist too, who was hurt by one of these bigots, uh, we will sue them and we will get their dorm rooms taken away and we will take their cars and their boom boxes and we'll bankrupt them their boom boxes we will do whatever is necessary under the this is insane yeah katie this isn't good for the jews it's so not we good can't, for the Jews. We can't be happy. We can't be talking can't like be. this. I know. We I shouldn't have even shown that. That's, this is you are you are you, you just set us back fifty I years. Set us back so many years. That's, I know. Alan, what are you doing? The boombox. It's gonna take I'm, away our Walkmans. I'm like, guys, we got it made. Don't fuck this up yeah. for us. Don't fuck this up for us. Oh, he's so terrible. I saw him on a plane once on the way to Miami. Really? Oh God, Dersh in Miami? Yeah. On the way, yeah. I was going on my way to Cuba. Yeah. Oh my God. And then we got another friend of Epstein who's going to hurt the Jews. And we wish he wasn't Jewish, but we got to just show it again. Show him. Here's Lauren Summer talking to Anderson Cooper, by the way, who went to the school I went to, Dalton, mm-hmm. very heavily Jewish. And I know oh, this yeah. from a Dalton. Um, Epstein was a teacher uh, there. He was a teacher there. Epstein was a teacher there, right before my time. But Anderson Cooper apparently played Tevya in Fiddler on the Roof and a Jewish grandparent apparently said they had they found a goy to play uh Tevya uh-huh. and we know from Professor Stephen Thrasher that he because Stephen Thrasher worked as a secretary at an architecture firm Anderson uh-huh. Cooper always wore an IDF sweatshirt um which <laughs> you should remember when you watch listen Anderson I'll say this I'll say this little New York tip for you guys out there if there if you ever want to get your shit sucked by Anderson Cooper go to the fucking Soho Equinox at 7 30 a.m. His ass is there. I'm not even joking. Wow. Have you been there or you've heard this from I just uh, know that I listen, I know a lot of guys who get around. Wow. Okay. That's not it's a nice gym. It smells like eucalyptus. I've never been. Yeah. All right, let's let's at, let's take a look at Larry Summers. Now is Lawrence uh, Summers, former Clinton Treasury Secretary and former president of Harvard University, where he's now president emeritus and the Charles W. Elliott University professor. Secretary Summers, thank you for being with us. First of all, what is your reaction? I uh, kind of like the beard. These... I mean, the beard is actually a good move. That's a, yeah. that's about the first and last compliment I'll ever give him. Okay. Yeah. Protests, which we are now seeing on campuses at Columbia and in Texas. We've seen them at uh, USC and other places. These are very sad uh, pictures. Students have a right to protest. They have a right to express themselves. They don't have a right to disrupt. And it's very clear that there's substantial disruption 
on many campuses and administrations have agonizingly difficult choices to make. I wish they had made the decision not to allow these students to enter in the first place. I wish that they had rapidly threatened escalating discipline and uh, suspensions, the inability to graduate, the inability to get credit for the semester. I wish they had been much stronger in responding to earlier provocations of which there have been many since October 7th. Like I think what? if it had been managed right, we wouldn't be discussing police presences in uh, the way that we are. I think it's not difficult to respond to some things. For example, He also needs to clear his throat. For example, the John you Harvard have, statue at Harvard has I been I can't tell because old people just talk like that sometimes. No disrespect to the elderly. For four yeah. days, and no one has even removed uh, that. So... He's upset that George Washington has a kaffee on him. I think he looks good. Yeah. I mean, listen, George Washington was all gussied up. You know, I heard recently, I don't know if this is true. I was told recently that George Washington's, like, was completely sterile, that he couldn't have kids even if he wanted to. And that, oh, like, interesting. that's part of the reason he never did is because he had, like, some kind of, like, thing wrong with him. Um, But, uh, but yeah, I didn't know that he spoke so slowly and with such like, uh, yeah, phlegmatic, I believe yeah. is the word. Yeah. And phlegmy. And phlegmy. Yeah. So those are two friends of uh, Epstein who are very critical of students. Although I kind of played, I ruined, it's hard to follow the Dersh. I should have played Larry first. Yeah. Dersh yeah. is, Dersh is always, you can count on him to say, like Katie, if you're ever in need of sound bites, all you have to do is watch his fucking insane like rumble show or whatever he has. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, he rule. The it's called the Dur Show. Oh my god, he rules. He, He's yeah. insane. I mean, what a what a great enemy to have, right? Somebody who is you can always count on to say the most like bankrupt, psychotic, and hypocritical thing. He really is. Remember, he threatened to leave the Democratic Party. If Keith Ellison was the ch chair, oh, yeah. then they made um, Tom Perez the chair. But Keith Ellison was like the delegate chair, yeah. deputy chair. So if he was actually principled, he would have left the Democrats anyway. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah what was it? It was like Keith Ellison was like, it was just like it was Muslim or like it said something yeah. critical of Israel or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's so, so psychotic. Yeah. I love, I can't believe he's my lawyer. And that he's your lawyer? I got to tell you, though, you, if you kill your wife, if you run over 50 kids, if you accidentally, you know, blow up a building or you poison a whole town or oh, something. Right. Wait, he didn't his wife kill herself. Katie, you have no idea for I, I don't know. He, he is. He's got eyes everywhere. So I don't want to say too much. Okay. The story is she killed herself. She killed right? herself uh, or she died. Let's say that. Yeah. And she died no. under weird circumstances. That and he like took the kids away from her, didn't he? Wasn't he very punishing towards he her? He was like, he hated, you know, he's like, she's crazy. And you know, maybe she, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But there's very little I mean, information out after there. being married to him. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But there's very, wow. there's very little information out there. Uh, and it seems like maybe a, uh, a particularly, uh, perhaps a, a, an intervention from Mr. Monsieur Dershowitz over right. uh, how the press covered it. 